Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You're seeing this chip that I ordered, uh, it was uh, late February, well you saw when it arrived, so this has been about two months in the making. And what it is, is they advertise that this um, Intel Xeon X5-5450 can be a replacement or an upgrade for a a Q6550, which is a um, it's a Intel Core Duo Quad CPU. They don't go to through. I mean, they go pretty expensive on uh, on eBay, so that's why we got this chip, and we're gonna put it in uh, a compatible system. Hopefully, a compatible system, and we're gonna see where this uh, rabbit hole takes us. So. Come on along. Okay. Now supposedly what they that they've done to this processor is a modification. What they supposedly did to make this pin compatible somehow is simply instead of having the processor putting the processor with these two pins, you have the two notches on each side here, here, and here. There's a notch here and a notch right there. And that supposedly is what makes this processor work as a replacement for the um, Core Duo. So one of several things are going to happen. So let's uh, get to it here in a moment. So. Two screws here. There we go. All right. So there's the processor. There's a heat sink. So let's uh, get this up and out. Go ahead and push down. Pull it off to the left. Take out that processor. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, got our isopropyl alcohol here. It's uh, just cleaned up here. Oh. Okay have the little arrows pointing that way and that is on each side so take the processor out get this cleaned up while we have it out here With this one the pin the notches are in a different place I mean where you would normally go this way we're going to go this way. I'm 
maybe it does go that way. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. Fits in that way. Oh. If it fit in that way. Oh, it has notch there and there. These two notches where it normally goes, but these two notches are where it's going now. Hopefully. One of two things is going to happen. It's going to work. One of three things is going to happen. It's work. It's not going to work. It's something's going to fry. So. Compound there. So Okay, so we got that all set. We have we're running the latest BIOS. Got the chip in there. Well, like I said, one of three things is going to happen. It's going to work. It's not going to work. Something's going to fry. Makes a pin compatible with this Dell. So, okay. Three, two, four, two, three, four. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah. So, Dell gives you a nice BIOS flash to let you know hey, Here's thanks for watching the epic fail. Got that chip I set back in February. It just arrived here in April. And I uh, replaced the chip, turned it on, and it's not compatible. Now, I've watched videos where people were able to just do the same modification, put it in using a Dell uh, BIOS, and it worked, and it was the same model. But it was different year. So there could have been a difference between in there between theirs and mine. Uh, I've also read online where other people have done this, some with success, some without success. Um, but from what I understand, what is the missing component here is that I would need a altered or a hacked ROM that would include the microcode for the Xeon processor. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, you know what to do. Um, but you don't always win, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.